Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm bringing you the second part of the video uh, about the song Ghost by Ella Henderson and in this video I'll show you the arrangements not not so much the the harmony and everything you can find that in the first video of this um, of this series and if you haven't you can go and check that out I'll, I'll leave a, a link in the description so you can find it there but uh, I'll show you what the the song is, is doing in terms of piano and everything and uh, yeah so you can go and check that I'll leave a, a link and uh, I'll see you uh, I'll show you me myself playing this song and and you can follow that and then you can come back and check this out which is the explanation of what's going on so um, in the in the first uh, chorus which is the intro what I do is this with this little arpeggio that I do here in the E and then this, uh, this is not an arpeggio but it's this form I also showed you that in the first video that's why I'm doing it as quick as possible that's new so uh, when we get to the um, to this E it goes to F only up here and something very quickly happens and this is a, a pentatonic scale and the, the melody that it's trying to form is this C C B a E F All right. So um and that goes into the verse. Now, this is then a, a little bit more uh, with a little bit more of musicality to it and it's a little bit faster. I'll try to to do it slow. It's like this. There's this B that I that I play almost as if it wasn't there. Okay, you do that until you get it right. Okay, and then um, the the piano is stressing this uh, the the bass guitar notes. It goes into this again. But this time it makes a sort of a rhythm pattern, which is this. I slow it down. Then D. again and then this part that I showed you which is the, the pre-chorus And the chorus that you already know. Okay, about um about the verse. Um, so it's this uh, the the rhythmic rhythmic part. It's this. And when it does the D, I'm not entirely sure if it this if it is this or this. I'm not so sure about this D here. I think it, it keeps the the pentatonic form in the in the rhythm, which it, it would be this this notes here. It's a C sharp, an E, an F sharp, and an A.
Okay. Okay, and then the the this is the the pre-chorus, and it goes here, starts growing there, and it jumps into the into the the chorus. Now, the chorus is is uh, is different because the first time is only like clap clapping there, like it's some electronic claps and natural claps, or I don't know, but it, there's just clapping, and that's when it does the arrangement. Uh, in the piano, look. This thing here. All these little things, the extra notes that I'm playing are only played when the, 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 the clap is going. Then the guitar uh, starts jamming and then it's just, just the chords and no extra arrangements. Just this. I know it's boring. It's boring, and it requires you to concentrate and not do anything else. But you know, not you know, not uh, add extra notes. But yeah, that's what you gotta do. And then okay, it's it's this F, and again. The same thing as the verse, we saw it before, and here as well. This is the verse again. And it jumps right into the chorus again. It's this very slow part where she she sings uh, do something with a ghost. I don't I don't remember the lyrics. Keep up the ghost. I don't remember the lyrics. But um, stop the hunting baby. Something like that. It's just this chords. Which I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is it's D. It's the same chords, but this is uh, with an inversion. This is uh, a D. Oh, sorry, an A with uh, the first inversion of A, so I'm starting D sharp, and then it's the F with the second inversion, so that means that it's F, sorry, it's D, F, A, and then something weird happens. Uh, I'll try to put uh, the, five, the five beats that go there, because it becomes the... Um, in terms of the the metrics of the song changes and it becomes a, a fifth uh, fourth a fi five fourth would be so it counts to five one two three four five and it jumps into the two last times that you have the the chorus so there's a I'll put that in the on screen so you can see it so um, so yeah you, you can you can check that out and then it's the the final Final version. There's no arrangements here. No extra arrangements. No, uh, no extra notes or whatever. It's just the chords, laying the chords for the for the the vocals to go crazy and the guitars as well to go really rhythmical. And that's it for the piano. So all right. So hope you guys like it. Uh, if you do, smash that uh, like button. Remember, you can meet me on musictutorials.net where you can get this this track, the track of the piano, drums, uh, the bass guitar tracks, or whatever you want to jam along with. You're more than welcome to download it, even to download it and use it for your own, you know, for your own sake. Maybe you want to practice or you want to upload something let me know if you upload so i go and check that out and i'll i promise you i will like it I promise you so yeah uh let me know if this is useful for you if it is just uh leave me a comment down there whatever if you have any questions they're more than welcome as well i will be uploading the um, the bass guitar and the guitars um uh tutorials for this 
and I'll, I'll later make a, um, my own interpretation, if you will, of this song, which I'll, I'll make it uh, instrumental. So you can check that out um, probably in the video description or I put a link somewhere uh, there on screen. Take care. Bye.